Hi, welcome to the Rada Cutlery Kitchen. My name is Christy, and I like to bring you recipes that are homemade and easy to make. We offer a variety of recipe books. Today I'm making a strawberry pretzel dessert. It's out of our dump and bake cakes recipe book. And it's easy to make. Everything's made in one pan. You don't have the extra mess of bowls and extra washing. So if you love the strawberry pretzel salad, you'll love this dessert. And you'll need to preheat your oven to 325 degrees. And you'll need an eight by eight uh, pan. I'm gonna use the Rada Stoneware Baker pan, the square one. And the first thing you need is an eight ounce container of whipped cream cheese. So you'll want to use an ungreased baking pan. And you'll take that eight ounce container of whipped cream cheese. I'm going to spread that over the bottom of that pan. Now over this whipped cream cheese we're going to add, so we're going to sprinkle two tablespoons of sugar. Sweeten that up a little bit. And then we're going to take a 21 ounce can of strawberry pie filling. I'm going to spread that over the top. I'm using this Rada Super Spreader. Works really good for spreading items like this um, to frost cakes, um, to get mayonnaise or peanut butter out of a jar. It's the perfect size to reach to the bottom of that jar. Now our next layer, um, if you can find a nine ounce package of a white cake mix. Um, I couldn't. So I'm going to just measure a cup is eight ounces. So I'm just going to go a little over a cup. And we're just going to spread this over the strawberries. And then we're going to sprinkle um, two tablespoons of a uh, dry strawberry gelatin. That's going to give that cake mix a nice strawberry flavor. Now we're just going to gently drag a fork through the dry ingredients. Try to not bring up the strawberries into this like I just did. And now we're going to take a half cup of kiwi strawberry juice. And we're just going to drizzle that um, over the pie filling or over the cake mix and try not to like don't dump it in and mix up the pie filling. You just want to get it over that cake mix. And now we're going to just um, stir it gently Oh, it's partially blended in. So then it's going to have a texture like that. And now we're going to take a fourth cup of cold butter. We're going to grate that butter over the top. So we need about half a stick and a mark Hello, I'm going to go. And then with this Rada Deluxe Peeler, makes it really easy to. So you want to spread that to the corners too. All right, now we're going to bake this for 50 to 60 minutes or until lightly browned. Um, halfway through, though, we're going to add some pretzels to the top. So let me get it in the oven. I want to show you a unique way to chop up some pretzels. So halfway through baking our strawberry pretzel dessert, we're going to want to scatter some chopped pretzels over the top. And I want to show you a neat way. We need about a half a cup, so I'm just going to add what looks like about a cup. Now this is the Rada Food Chopper. It has those little teeth on there. And it'll chop up these pretzels, it'll chop up nuts, it'll chop up potatoes, it'll chop up celery, it'll chop up onions and carrots. No need to get a food processor when you have one of these. It's 
a really a handy tool. And you can chop those up as large or small as you want. As you can see, it makes nice, even pieces. And we'll add those to our dessert as soon as it's done baking for halfway through. So our cake has about 30 minutes in. Oh, it looks really good. Now we're gonna sprinkle these chopped up pretzels on the top, about a half a cup. And then we'll stick it back in for another 20 to 30 minutes. So I just took my strawberry pretzel dessert out of the oven. I'm gonna let it cool down. I'm gonna serve it with some whipped topping and some fresh strawberries. You could add a little pretzel for a design. You could even serve it with ice cream. And that's one of the easy, no extra step, just dump and bake cakes in our dump and bake cake recipe book. No dirty dishes, no extra steps. Thanks.